I don't know where I want to jump in, but, uh, you know, I always got to say something. So I would jump in right here. So you brought up those artists and you saying like some people who came with some lukewarm performances uh, right off the jump this year. So but these are some established artists, as you mentioned, Meek Mill and Lil Wayne. Have they got to the point where they're comfortable cash? And when you get comfortable, you kind of lax a little bit and you you put out. It's still quality just because the production and stuff that you can pay for, but it's not it's not that you you can feel like the hunger has died back a little bit. You know what I mean? They ain't they ain't coming with something that's gonna be top tier or you know, like it's gonna be in the al top albums, but I I see it it's not in that top ten albums of the year category. You know what I mean? So what yeah. do you think? I think it's a little bit of listener fatigue for me. You know what I mean? Because Wale, to me, has never dropped a bad project. So I'm waiting on the project before I, I lean forward on the Wale take. But I'll say with the like the remakes that I've been hearing with him coming out more recently with J. Cole to poke it out, the vibrant thing flip. I'm, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's me being the old dude. Like, damn, why they flipping some of these classics from when we was growing up? You know, but you got to remember these producers and these artists, we're all around the same age, you know. So some of these records that they grew up loving, these younger kids don't know or the younger generation that's growing up in hip hop. So we got to give them a chance to hear the jams that we vibe to. But at the same time, when you flip classics. Sometimes or more often than not, if it's not done well, that'll tune i'll tune out man and that's kind of what i'm doing with wale over the last couple releases like like i said the last project phenomenal you know i'm rooting for everybody black i forget the name of that song but like that was like the lead track to that and you know people didn't jump on board unfortunately with that type of sound so maybe maybe he's trying something different to get the radio singles which he's known for or just to get the public to rock to rock with him and then He'll probably drop the introspective dope shit, the the experimental things that Wale does on the albums, which makes him one of the greats. May not sell like a Cole Kendrick or Drake, but to me, musically, he's right there when you compare projects, mixtapes, all that. He's never a slouch. On the flip side, Wayne, just last week I was on here talking about he's having a hell of a feature run, <laughs> and then... <laughs> He drops this joint with Rich the Kid, which I threw on today when I was working out in the gym or my home gym rather. And, and I rode my bike and I'm like, yo, this is dope for working out, but I can't see myself returning to it in any other setting yeah. outside of the gym. And with that said, my long winded answer is I don't think they're falling off. I just think I have to listen to them in smaller doses like these projects. Like if they don't make it an event, I'm not paying attention to it no more. Like, cause I know, okay. I know it's not really something that they're, they're totally behind if they don't make certain things in event. And, uh, this rich, the kid and Wayne came out of nowhere. They got some slappers on there now. I ain't, ain't going to lie. Beat wise and just ignorant messages aside, which I enjoy. You know what I mean? I'm not stuck up and always got to hear some lyrical miracle shit. Like, but I mean, again, both, I will not be returning to too much, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, now <laughs> I'll, I'll catch on your own words there. You said that you're not going to act stuck up and above all of it, but I feel like you're, you're, you're not giving some of that stuff a fair shake. Uh, when you mentioned like the old classic and stuff like this, I got to have a thing. Like I remember, uh, every time I was in the car, my parents and stuff were playing back in the day when, Hip hop did the same damn thing, you know, remixing old, old songs, old hits, and then flipping it when we're younger and growing up, like same damn thing. <laughs> and we vibed heavy to the uh the newer rap version of it. So now we're we're the entitled ones and saying like our music, leave it alone. But hey, you got to come off that a little bit. At least I have. I I came back. I remember I said it a couple years ago when uh j cole had flipped the uh the outcast beat you know uh, uh forbidden fruit 
on, on that song. And I, I I thought the same damn thing. I was like, oh, bro, it's some things you can't touch. But it's it's showing honor to it. And it's going to get some people who's never heard that beat, like the younger generation and stuff like this, to go back and visit those songs as well. So they may find that new appreciation for it. And hip hop is only learning from itself. It's, it's doing what it what they came up on you know what i mean so they they came up on that same feeling uh bring it back to old beats and and flipping it again and making it more relevant in today's time so i kind of cut them some slide on that uh you mentioned that Wale's doing it but it was it happened a couple of times on meek mills uh album as well he got like three or four songs on there on that, championships that had a he did it a lot too yeah championships yeah yeah, yeah so it, it just seemed like a little zone that they're gonna be in and uh i got to take back you know my my initial feelings like oh why did you mess with that like and just listen at it for what it is like a new piece of uh, uh art that they're presenting to us and bam uh, i can i can kind of get away with it but we walked but with the Lil wayne Lil wayne i, I kind of feel exactly how you felt like when i listened to it in the gym it was fine but when i was just like riding and listening to it, i'm like what in the world is this man like, <laughs> I, I wasn't really vibing to it so but uh Oh, Lil, go ahead, Lil go ahead, Wayne is Lil Wayne just seems like that that older guy right now. He damn near forty now, man, and he's trying to hang out with the the, the twenty year olds and still making the club music. Like, oh nigga, get your ass out the club. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'm not I'm not too yeah. mad at him because uh, don't let me forget this point. But like, I'm not too mad at him because what what do what do I expect from Wayne? You feel me? Like, mm. I've never known him to get super duper introspective or really say anything against the establishment. That's not really his style. So for him to stick to this, this long, I should be cool with, and and I actually am, you know what I mean? So when I, when I get album Wayne Carter six or whatever it is to come, then I'll be a lot more critical. But right now it seems like Wayne is just having fun, trying things, doing things with younger artists and just rocking out. I don't think he's really thinking too much about it. In the past, that was fine for me. In the past, that was fine for me. All of the, the mixtapes that he put out, those were totally random, unfocused bars. So I feel like I'm being a hypocrite when I'm super hard on what he's doing because he's just doing the same thing he's been doing. Like, just <laughs> random, unfocused shit. And either we like the wordplay and how he's flipping it, or you don't. But this is just the same old Wayne. This is just the yeah, same old and, Wayne, but 2021. So I thought long and hard about this because me and you was having the, the debate last week about it. And I was just like, is it is it me or is it Wayne? And Wayne is just the same person, whereas I've changed a little bit. You grow a little bit. You you have a family and like all your friends, all your uh, groups going to have this. As you get older, people get married, settle down, got this girl, what family life comes in. So they, they kind of act a little bit different, right? Yeah. So you expect them to, and you see the growth. To grow up. You expect them to grow up. <laughs> but we Low also got friends that refuse to get married and still doing these same things in the club and whatever. And you just like, how do you still do it? But so my thing as we grow and, and, you know, lived with Wayne for the past, what, 20 plus years now. Right. Uh, is it us that's changing and he's not, and we're expecting too much of Wayne or, <laughs> Or is he just like that? Those people that you see in your group, and you just like, man, come on, man, you 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 can't be loving it, and like it's got to get lonely at some point. Like, come on, man. But I understand that's your life. That's what you want to do. You go and do that, man. I, I no, I can't go with you to the club. I got a family, <laughs> so I'm not yeah, gonna be there watched. for every we one watched. of. In yeah. other words, I'm not gonna be there for every one of Wayne albums because I know it's not for me. But when he makes a the the ones I can resonate with, I'll be right there to fuck with. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, pretty much. So I'm here for when he drops some dope shit and when he has a fire verse, like the verses I sent you that title playlist. I might put that out for everybody to listen to because this Rich the Kid joint, again, it's good for when you, you know, want to be up tempo, working out, maybe, you know, upbeat vibe. Like it's it's good for that. They are are they saying anything? No, absolutely not. It's just a bunch of bars, swag rap type shit. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool. I'm absolutely cool with that. But I just know there's different levels. There's different levels to the swag rap. There's different levels to how good this type of music is. And when you don't get to that level, it's just a throwaway. 
You know what I mean? These this feels like a tax write off. To be honest, I don't know what what, what Wayne is doing, but it feels like a tax write off. Like, I right, he dropped X amount, and you know he's gonna head, go ahead and move on. But I'm I'm cool with it. Overall, I'm cool with it. I'm not saying anything bad about it because it's not even it's not even worth it at this point to to expect something different. Now, the Wale and Cole joint, I just didn't get it. I just didn't get it press. Absolutely didn't get what was going on there. Like that one is like, damn, like swing and a miss. I don't, you know what I mean? Like poke it out, and poke to it you. out. Yeah, to, to me. I mean, it's swing and a miss for even. I, I know the vibe they were going for. I know everything they were trying to do on that record. Um, it sounds like it's going to be one of those records that is all over social media, TikTok, whatever the case may be. I can, I can see it, and I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. But I just know, even with all that, I just don't like the record. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has nothing to do nothing to do with the rhymes and nothing like that. I know what you're doing, but it's not not good to me. You know what I'm saying? And it's not a, to me, it's not a good flip. They didn't do anything to update the flip so much. You know what I mean? I'm not a, I'm not a producer. I'm aspiring. I'm trying to do that. You know what I mean? So I know where it goes into flipping the beat and how hard that could be to make it sound dope. And hit harder, but overall, I think you know, Cool and Dre. Nah, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Wale, J Cole. Huh? I wasn't expecting some lyrical shit either. I mean, because people don't pay attention to that from them no more either. So it's like, I I get where they were trying to go, but it didn't land, and and ultimately, that's what made me not really rock with it, man. Like, what what, what do you, you feel about it? Uh, I like it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like just just for background type of music and I just it's not gonna hurt me uh i know like it's something i can put on in my house nobody's gonna be mad at it so bam it's 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 it's, it's a good vibe I, I put it in that little music like hey when i'm ro- rolling with the wife and you know riding around with her it's one of those songs i can just play and should be fine with so okay. different pocket but man, take it for what it is all right. I'm just gonna be riding around listening to polka dot. Probably not, but I mean, <laughs> when, I, when I'm in those, <laughs> when I'm with my wife or whatever, like yeah, yeah, it's probably good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's cool, man. Like like I said, man, I'm trying not to be harsh on these guys. I know it said may sound like we flip flopping, but I mean, you you know what's going on here. We've been listening to music too long to know that it, he's trying to garner some attention for this record that's coming out on the 22nd for Lauren too, from what I heard. So. You know, Meek drop, he's dropping in the same month. That's dope. You know what I mean? We wanted the big dogs to come out of hiding this year. You know, with that year of of COVID and everything pretty much being non-existent music wise, music wise from the big dogs. Now, now that they're coming, that's that's, so, another, that's my other uh, thing. Here goes something I just thought of, and I got a question off the top of my head yeah. for you, because uh, you mentioned the Wayne and how he still like what well, we talked about the Wayne and how he's still just making that that ignorant type type music and like it, it can be found in like those uh, party type settings and it still vibes, but we ain't partying all the time. And then uh, you got the the Wale who, you know, he's an established, he done made, like, like we said, he don't have a bad project, but it seems like he's dabbling in something. Are they chase or do you feel like they're chasing something or the avenue that they're continue to go in their fan base is dwindling on that type of stuff uh, or, or is you think it's something they're going to experience for in the case of Wayne, uh, like we say, we still got friends out there that, that that's, party all the time still acting like they uh, you you would still think they're, they're 20 you know what i mean so uh but out of 10 of us that's two you know what i mean out of uh <laughs> and then with the wale you know if he's trying to get the the younger crowd to come in or he, is he snatching up enough and at the cost of his already established fan base that's why i want what do you think I think Wale still has to sell records and I think he's still trying to prove something to himself that he is with those elites because you'll see Drake do a similar type of record. It may not be a flip. I mean, Drake does flips as well and they do that over there in OVO. But what I will say is I think he's trying to meet what the label wants and deliver the type of music that he probably enjoys more. 
And he's still walking that that fine line because let's face it, man, he's he's not one of the guys that come out like a Drake, like a Kendrick, like like a, a J. Cole and sell a lot. So he has to do this still. And he's still I mean, he was on Twitter a couple the last couple of months talking about how good he is, how elite his pen is. And we agree. Big Big Crit is another guy that falls into hmm. that realm to where severely gets slept on has projects that are considered classics to some or just very strong projects, but you know, everybody can't be here. Everybody can't be the guy. And I think that's what Wale is going for. You know what I mean? But as far as Wayne, we've grown up (laughs) and that's it. That's it. We've grown up (laughs) and he, he really music wise hasn't. And, And you want your artists that you, that you, that you grew up loving to grow with you in a sense, but sometimes majority of them really don't, you know what I mean? But there's examples out there in artists that we do champion that have grown up. I mean, you got your J's, you got your Nas's, you got bunch, bunch of others, man, that have grown. Uh, J Cole from the experience to now, like he puts out more of his stuff. Like, so you, 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 you you definitely see it. I would say even to the, to uh, Drake, you, you have seen the evolution of what he had, you know, to where, where it goes. And, uh, a lot of a lot of different artists like that, you know. So yeah, it's, it is some that does it. So we ain't just like talking out our ass. Like it, it is something that happened and we experienced, and it just seems like it's 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 not what we're getting from him. Uh, but I want to just throw out there: this is all our opinions. We ain't we ain't entitled to no back conversations with Wale, J. Mm-hmm. Cole, that we could be totally off on the way. Our interpretation of the music and the, and the project that they didn't drop, this is it. You know what I mean? So just want to caveat it with that. You know what I mean? This is just uh, how us as fans over the years are experiencing it. And again, good, fun background music, uh, good, fun party music when you have people over. You know what I mean? Like there, there's a lane for that. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, me personally, that ain't nothing that I, you know, it's certain records like that, that you be like this jams in the album flow, regardless. Like I like this, you know, you got, I'm just thinking the songs off the top of my head, people. So, you know, you got change clothes and go, you got, I'm just thinking about these different type of poppy songs that fall within a pocket of an album to where you be like, Oh, this, this goes. And sometimes it sounds better in album flow. Like, I don't know if you've experienced that to where you'd be like, I really like this out as a single, but in the album flow, this flows really well and it's growing on me and maybe it will. And and maybe it will. That's, that's the greatness of music. You know, hopefully if you're a music lover, you don't just listen to something one time with so much music coming out and not go back to it, especially for a Wale, especially for a Wayne. Like if, if you grew up in our era and you grew up loving them, why, like, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you go back to it? You know what I'm saying? You, I would, I would fault you at that point as a listener to it to not at least give it a few spins, but sometimes shit don't hit and it is what it is. You know, I'm looking forward to the Falaran too, though.